Peace, greetings to all the true gods and goddesses on this path doing the work. Uh, I had to shoot this quick video this morning because uh, when I get emails, as I said, uh, sometimes it's easier for me to just address it quickly in a video. So I ain't going to be too long-winded with this. I'm trying to stay about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Because um, obviously it's, it's tough to respond uh, back to every single email uh, that you get. Um, but sometimes I get some just some stupid ass shit. And <sighs> I'm going to title this video, Mind is a Terrible Thing to Waste, because it is. Alright. People come with some dumb stuff and don't even realize how they sound in emails. Okay. First, let me address two things. And I've addressed this a couple times in the past, but unfortunately... The conscious ho teppers, if it's not a conscious ho tepper, it's some other space cadet that doesn't see the harmony between their everyday life and reality and the spiritual realm. Alright, so let me let me address. I got two stupid ass emails. I ain't gonna say names because it's not about that shit is irrelevant. I wouldn't even give those people lives life. But I want to just address it for listeners that follow the channel or new people that come across the channel or new people that are interested in getting on this path so they don't fall for the fuckery. Alright? I get one individual. I get an email from an individual. Let me make this clear. They're into the whole tepping thing, the pro-black conscious, pro-black movement. Uh, power to you. This is the same individuals... And it's not just this person. There's a lot of people in this boat. Same individuals that talk about... And I want to... And I, as I said before in this channel, I don't promote racism on any level. Anybody is welcome on this path. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're Latino, Asian, mixed, ethnicity. It doesn't matter. So, I want to make that clear. When you're watching the content of my channel, my channel is for everybody. So, let me put that out there. But some people sometimes will confuse it because we might talk about a lot of topics uh, that deal with Egypt, Africa, African witchcraft, sorcery, magic, which a lot of conscious hoteps don't even talk about because they know nothing about it. Uh, but they get caught up in this black and white thing. So let me say this again to all you people who think you're, you're, you're in these conscious movements and you're black and superior and you're God and... You like to sit here and downplay and talk about other races and ethnicity and you shouldn't do this for the white man, you shouldn't do this. We need to separate white people of this and white people of that. It's all bullshit and fuckery. These are the same motherfuckers that claim to be such gods and deities and they still work in regular motherfucking jobs. Okay? There's a contradiction in that. These are the same motherfuckers that don't have ownership of anything in their life, be it a house. These are the same motherfuckers that are renting raggedy ass apartments, okay? And I don't give a fuck if I step on anybody's feelings or hurt them because this is the reality. Don't tell me you a god when you ain't even got your mundane existence in order. You, you're driving shitty ass cars, you're working a shitty ass job, you're renting a crummy ass apartment that you've crammed your family into. And I'm talking to the ones that, well, let, me, let me make this clear. If you're in a situation because of circumstances and you're making an effort to get out of it, that's one thing. But when you're talking smack that you're a god and that don't do this for the white man, don't do that for the white man, but you ain't even got your mundane shit in order. These are the same people that say, support the black dollar, but yet they getting gas at gas stations that ain't black owned. They're going into Walmart and regular supermarkets doing mundane human shit like everybody else that ain't black owned. They paying their rent and their mortgage 90% of the time to a European or a Caucasian. But they want to sit here and talk about how they are so, they're gods and they got they shit together because they put on some cultural attire or some symbols and they say a few words and now you can't tell them shit because they read a few books and saw a few videos and a few lectures. I mean, I've dressed this so many times. That shit is comical to me. You're wasting your time sending me an email. I don't even care. The platform ain't designed cater to your ego and stroke your ego so don't tell me that you a god and you got your shit in order and don't do this or that and the white man this or that we need to separate from the white man when again you're working a, a, a job more than likely where the white man's cutting your check 
you getting gas and buying your food. You ain't growing your food from the earth. Don't give me this you in tune with the universe shit. And just because you go to Whole Foods and think you're buying organic food, that don't mean a damn thing. Your money's still going to the very system you claim you're trying to destroy. So suck on that one. All right, so let me make that crystal clear. I ain't down with all that shit. The difference with this path is we have that harmony and bridge between everyday reality, whether you want to call it your mundane existence, and the spiritual realm. For lot, I'm using a simplistic term. But if you ain't a living example of your information partner, I can't take you serious. Don't sit there and tell me you're a god and you got all these high sciences, but yet you fucking flipping and not knock on anybody, but I call it what it is. You flipping motherfucking hamburgers or you working some regular ass job and you piss broke. You staying in your mama's basement. It, it, it's comical. All right. Then I get another email from these are my favorite motherfuckers. The ones that can levitate and heal themselves and all this shit fucking kills me. Okay. These are the same motherfuckers that constantly are coughing, constantly are sick, and I've talked about this. They constantly want to give you advice on how you need to get your shit together. Usually they got some hustle or some angle. You find that out as you start to talk to them. But again, their mundane existence, <laughs> which if you're that deep and you a god, shit, controlling this mundane existence should be a piece of cake to you. You can levitate and see into other universes, but you can't make no motherfucking money. I don't, just doesn't equate to me. Okay, I'm a motherfucking realist. You gotta come at me with some real shit. I don't give a fuck what books you read. I don't give a shit, again, how much information you can regurgitate. I don't care how much shit you committed to memory that sounds good. I need to see the motherfucking living example in front of my face. Don't tell me how to heal myself and give me financial advice Again, when you sleep in mom's basement, don't have a car, in this case, this person. <laughs> Come on, man, that shit is comical to me. How can I even take you serious? Okay, and then don't blow it off. Well, you know, just be in the world. Don't, don't be part of it. That's, that's a recipe for being broke. Don't give me this bullshit. Well, this world is just an illusion. It is to an extent. But it's an illusion you are still existing in on some level. And if you can't pay your motherfucking bills, your mortgage, your rent, and you got to run schemes and hustles on other motherfuckers just to try to get by so you can pay your little crappy rent for your little shithole you live in, then something ain't right there, people. That's why I don't fuck with certain people. This is exactly why I keep my circle small. I went through that shit years ago in all of these conscious so-called communities. Because I, I looked around one day, a few years back, and said, you know what? If I don't change something now in my life, I'm going to end up like these motherfuckers. Keith Sweat motherfuckers talking about, I want to, I want to. All they do is talk about, I want to, and they ain't doing shit. And I saw myself, it hit me. And I was in a, one of those conscious so-called community meetings, and it just, it, something out of nowhere. The spirit just came to me and said, boom, you got to get the fuck out of this shit. Okay? Because if you don't, you're going to end up like these motherfuckers. And I looked around the room and I saw a bunch of old heads in there that had been coming around for years. And I've known them for years since I've been in. And I watched a lot of them come and go. When I say come and go, leave this world and transition on. They came with nothing. They left with nothing. Okay? And I said, that's not going to be me. I ain't going to sit around talking about how great we are or how great we used to be. I'm worried about how great I can be right now. Okay? That's the difference what this path of self-mastery does as opposed to Space Cadetville. Okay, don't tell me about shit going on on other planets and galaxies when you ain't even got your shit figured out here. And I belonged to a group years ago that was heavily into that extraterrestrial thing. But don't we ain't even got the mess figured out here yet and you want to you want to bring me to more problems <laughs> outside the motherfucking galaxy. And that's not to say look, you you know my videos here. I, I'm all on board. Obviously, I, I've, I've mentioned many times before, obviously, we are not alone in the universe. I'm down with the whole higher civilizations and, and realm. You hear me talk about it all the time. But don't use that as a scapegoat for your motherfucking failure. Okay? People want to stay in Spookyville because they ain't got their everyday life mastered. 
So I'm deep spiritual, I'm heavy, I can meditate, heal myself, and you know, I'm down with the pro-black, we are gods and goddess bullshit, but I can't pay my bills, I'm behind on my child's support, my car's raggedy as fuck, I'm working a miserable job, I can't even figure out an intelligent way on how to master and make some motherfucking money. But, you got the spiritual shit all figured out, please. Don't even waste your time. If other people fall for that crap, let other people fall for it. These are the very reasons why I left all that shit alone. Because I didn't see any productivity behind it on any level at all. All it was was meeting and gathering after gathering where we sat, held these classes and did these things where nothing ever got done. And I say to this day, I am relieved, overjoyed. Can't even put into words how happy and ecstatic I, my life has been since I removed myself from all that. And I couldn't give two shits what anybody thinks about me. That, that, them days gave them days up. Uh, don't even care. Couldn't even give two shits about it. Okay? It's irrelevant. And people need to understand if you're in something, I don't care what it is you study. I don't care what it is you profess to be loyal to or have allegiance to or, or some group organization dogma or philosophy that you're down with. Let it be a reflection in your everyday life. It's that simple. People always ask me, well, first of fact, if you got to ask me, how do I know the path that I'm doing if it's right? Well, you're getting results. How many times do I got to say that? <coughs> Are you getting results? How many times do I have to say that? It's that simple. If you ain't getting no results, you're not in the right path. If it's not a reflection in your everyday life, where you can't see it manifesting, I don't give a fuck what you think you know. I don't care how good it makes you feel. I don't care how, because sometimes we hide behind that as a crutch because we don't want to deal with reality. If it's not a living manifestation that's tangible, that you can connect with, not just on the spiritual. I get it, you can go in meditation, travel your subjective realm, and we all have the ability to do that. But then you wanna tell me it's okay to suffer here and be unsuccessful here? Nah, Jack, you got it all mixed up. See, that's what all those other paths teach. This path don't teach that. We talk about the doctrine of indulgence on this path. We indulge to the fact so we can master ourselves on this realm, which gives us a higher understanding of the other realms. But to negate this and say, oh, don't be in the world, just, just, you know, be in it, but don't be of it, or whatever that bullshit everybody says, you know, all right, you that deep, dude, sit home, levitate and meditate, and manifest all your spooky shit in Space Cadetville, don't go out there, don't earn no money to pay any of your bills, let's see how quick your ass will be out on the street, okay, if, if you that deep, that's a reality, and look, you can talk all that spooky shit you want. That just don't sit well, okay? And again, the reason, <laughs> mine is a terrible motherfucking thing to waste, it really is. It really is. Because you can get so caught up in your emotions or captivated by something emotionally that somebody else wrote, or you can get captivated emotionally by some group organization or some, some charismatic leader that he, speaks and says, I, I'm telling you because I've been there. I'm not telling you this shit from my opinion. And these usually come from people that are part of some group that, that has some charismatic leader or speaker over it. Because that person caters to their emotions and feeds off their emotions and captivates them, they get caught up. And it's that easy. Once, once, once you get hooked, it's that fucking easy. So how can you be a god and you can't even think for yourself? I said this before for an example with the Nuwapians, them motherfuckers are space cadets. They can't even quote anything in their own words. They always got to quote what their master teacher York said. York said this, York said that. And I told him before, well, what do you say? Do you have your own thoughts? So that whole group shit, I'm down with that group shit setting and this is the leader or leaders. Man, you can take that shit, you know, you can do it. I'm my own leader. I don't follow nobody. I don't care about anybody's opinions. I don't care. Look, you look, you have you are entitled to like or not like something. That is your right. 
But if you think I give two shits about it, then you got shit twisted and confused. I couldn't care if you love, like, or hate what I talk about. That's not my job. That's some personal shit you need to work out within yourself. Whether you like me, love me, or hate me, that's some personal shit. Because as I said a million times before, once this camera goes off, I'm not, I'm not in YouTube realm no more. I'm about doing my work, handling my business. I don't, when, when the camera's off, I leave YouTube here. The problem is, some of, you, some of you people, you have no life, and all you do is stay on YouTube and social media. All you do is post all day. But one thing that always amazes me, I'm like, how am I fucking posting 8, 9, 10, 11 times a day? And it dawned on me, they ain't got no life. They either ain't making no money, or they either working a shitty job, and they got too much free time when they ain't working because they ain't doing nothing productive. And all they do all day is post. Post after post. That's why from day one when this channel been in existence, I disable my comments. Because if you think I'm going to sit here and respond to everybody's bullshit, because I can only imagine the amount of bullshit comments you would get from haters and people that just, I don't like that. You sound like a little bitch. I don't like that. So it's as simple as if you don't like, don't watch. I know if I don't like something on TV, on social media, I don't sit there and waste my time and energy commenting on it. I just don't watch. It's not for me. That's their thing. Let them do their thing. Let them stay in their lane. It's all good. But I'm not going to sit here and bitch and whine like a little kindergartner and complain about what I like and don't like because I have a construct or a model or a personal ideology of what I think consciousness is. So come on, people. We in 2019, man. Enough of the games. Enough of the games. But I can tell you this, I ain't the motherfucking one. I ain't got time for it. I'm about doing productive shit with my time. And as I've mentioned many times before over the years, as I get older, my time is more valuable. I will not sit around and waste time on useless nonsense. So, once in a blue moon, and I'm, and I'm fortunate, I don't get a lot of nonsensical emails like that, and I'm grateful. Because one, I don't waste my time in responding to them individually. But when you get something like this, I think it's productive to just do an open video because it opens the doors I can address things on a more wide scale level outside of that. So for people like that, not just the two individuals that sent that dumbass email or emails, but in the future, I want to make this clear. This is not a conscious channel in the sense that you might have a certain construct, the ideology mind. This is a left-hand path self-mastery channel that is open to all. Okay, I want to stress that again. I don't care what your ethnicity is. I don't care your race, black, white, Chinese, Latino. I don't care what your sexual preference is. Let me stress that too. Because as I said, I'll get emails, can, can you be bisexual or gay and be on this path? You can be anything you want. That's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with being on this path. So I don't, I, if you got views on that, you're entitled to have your personal views on that. But it's irrelevant on this path. Each individual has the ability to make their own choices to become a god or a goddess and take those initiative steps to do that. Doesn't matter what your ethnicity, race, or sexual preference is. I do not promote hate or racism here. I do not promote any specific ideology from any specific conscious group on any level. Okay? And I've made that clear, and I've started doing disclaimers in the beginning of some of the videos. This path is open and welcome for all. So think about before you speak. That's why I say a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Think before you speak. Don't talk all that pro-black stuff when you're still depending on the very system you claim you're teaching about how to destroy and rebuild your own where you're still completely dependent on that very same system you're claiming to destroy. So until you're living off the land, make this clear, growing your own food, not giving your money to who you claim the European is, not supporting going to his stores in any shape, form, or fashion, whether that's Walmart, Whole Foods, the mall, not getting gas from his gas stations, until you completely European man free, don't sit there and talk to me about that nonsense. Okay? <laughs> you, if you just look, you just don't know how stupid that looks, man. 
You just don't know how comical you sound when people say stuff like this. Okay? So I want to make that clear. Again, I didn't want to stay too long winded with this. I wanted to make that crystal clear. So think before you speak. And that's why I say a mind is a, is a, is a damn terrible thing to waste. Okay, this is what this path is about. If that's not your viewpoint, to have harmony between the physical and the spiritual, to have that harmonization where your success should transition into the physical, I don't care what anybody else says. If it's not, something's wrong. Okay? Something's not right. Okay, you can't you can't sit there and tell me that that's not necessary. I have, I have to be in total disagreement. So you don't have to agree with that. So yeah, you might be seeing spaceships and and you might be talking all this, how great we were in Egypt and, and all this other stuff and we're gods and and we, we need to build a black dollar and all this. That's great. Sounds awesome. But if I ain't seeing that in your everyday existence, it's a bunch of nonsense. It shows me there's a disconnect in here. As just as deep as you think you are mentally, you're just as weak, but you're not even conscious of it. You've blinded yourself with that illusionary space cadet shit, thinking, yeah, you can use the philosophy. There is a saying, so a man thinketh he is, but that don't mean he is. As a whole, it just means he is to himself. And that only holds so weight, only holds so much weight based on the results that manifest from that thought process. If there's no results manifesting from that thought process, it's just a thought. It's a thought you've tapped into, but it's a thought you definitely have not mastered. Okay? So, we need to understand magic, the subjective, the objective, and the harmonization between the both. And we need to become our own masters. We need to not be worried about anybody else's opinions, thoughts, or how they do or do not feel about something. That shit is irrelevant. Alright? Anyway. I think that point is clear. Uh, other than that, tomorrow we'll be back on there. As you know, there's a whole slew of upcoming shows for the next, for probably for the next month and a half or so. Uh, as I said, I'm trying to fall back, take a little bit of a, of a break. Uh, as you saw, about a week and a half ago, I scheduled a whole bunch of shows. Uh, we've got uh, Raven Hecker tomorrow night teaching on Black Magic Woman Power, which I think is going to be a great show. Uh, we have next Thursday, uh, uh, I'm sorry, next Thursday, jeez. We have this, this Thursday, August 2nd, uh, Bal Cadman back on the show to talk about the Void Darkness, the Citra Opera, and the other side. Uh, the following week, no, I'm sorry, not Bal Cadman. This we have Father Sebastian this Thursday. I got my dates mixed up. Father Sebastian will be here talking about vampiric magic and vampiric spiritual practices and techniques. That will be this Thursday night. Next Tuesday, uh, August 6th. Yeah, Tuesday, August 6th. Shit. Who the fuck do I get? That's when we have Bal Cadman back. I'm sorry. He'll be on on August 6th. And then on August 8th. Shit. I think that's the only day I'm doing a show. Uh, and then the following week. Yeah, the 8th and the 15th are the two slots I have open. And then on the 22nd, we have Dr. Edward Bruce Bynum returning to the show. Uh... And then on September 14th, we have Richard K. Page coming back uh, to the show. So we have a bunch of upcoming shows. Um, and I'm, I'm in the process of feeling... Oh, I'm sorry. On the 8th, we have Sister Oni. I, I messed up. So she's also coming on on the 8th to talk about uh, self, self-understanding, self-realization. Uh, she'll be talking about shadow work. She'll be sharing some of her recent work with us and talking about that topic in general. Uh, so it's the 15th is the, the the only opening that you might see me squeeze a show in. And I might squeeze a few little short videos like this here in between. Alright, so that's what we got upcoming. If you need to get at me uh, for consultations or readings, uh, again, remember, I'm now being clear on the type of readings that I do offer. Uh, if you want a reading with the Oishi, if you want a reading with the Loa or the Voodoo or Voodoo deities, if you want a reading with the spirits of the dead, if you want a reading with the Goetia demons, uh, if you want an Egyptian rune reading with the Natiru, uh, feel free to hit me up and specify. When you contact me, give me your days and times of availability and the time zone you live in. If you are, uh, contact me for a reading. 
If you don't specify, I'll just use whatever method I feel is right at the time. Uh, if you want a consultation, specify. That's a little different. It's kind of a free-for-all. You can use it for whatever you choose uh, to focus on, uh, and we kind of go from there. All right? So you can reach me at the email in the description box of all the videos, khnum19 at gmail.com, uh, and we'll see everybody uh, on uh, tomorrow night. Peace.